The larger foraminifera heterostegina depressa, multiple fission in microspheric and megalospheric generation. In heterostegina depressa, as in many other numulatids, there is a test dimorphism. The large individual is 10 millimeters in size and belongs to the microspheric generation. Near it, a megalospheric animal. Both generations form megalospheric daughter individuals by multiple fission. From the peripheral chambers of this microspheric specimen, symbiont containing protoplasm has retracted to the inner part of the test. This signalizes multiple fission. Then the protoplasm flows out of the test through the many openings distributed over the entire test surface. The openings are part of a canal system which connects the chamber lumina with the ambient seawater. The protoplasm forms streams flowing crisscrosswise on top of and underneath the test. After three hours, the streaming protoplasm comes to rest. Now its division into megalospheric daughter cells begins, which contrast as dark globules against the empty calcareous test of the mother cell. After this, the daughter cells transform to the two-chamber stages. Upon the formation of this stage, a 13-hour resting period follows rendered here in high time-lapse sequence. This period is terminated as the two-chambered juveniles are transported off the mother test. This is performed by protoplasmic threads of maternal residual protoplasm in which the daughter cells were embedded until this moment. These threads first take hold of the juveniles which are on top of the test and transport them off in all directions. In a second batch, the juveniles from underneath the test are carried off. The fans and strands of the transporting protoplasm finally lose their connection to the mother test but continue their centrifugal movement. A detail from a protoplasmic network which transports juveniles. Probably most of the protoplasmic filaments are residual protoplasm deriving from the multiple fission. Upon termination of the transport, this protoplasm forms a coat with radiating processes around the two-chambered daughter cells. The third chamber originates within a transparent growth sheath. One day later, the third chamber, with its wall now increased in thickness, can still be recognized by its brighter coloration. By a slight turn and short movement, the organisms widen their elastic sheaths, thus making space for the construction of their fourth chamber. This process is repeated at daily intervals. In this sheath, up to 12 chambers are formed. The mass of megalospheric daughter cells, which grow up in this sessile way, surrounds the microspheric mother test.
from the centimetre-large microspheric generation, as well as from the much smaller megalospheric generation, megalospheric daughter individuals are formed by multiple fission. At the beginning of the division, hyaline protoplasm emerges from the keel of the test. The protoplasmic fringe narrows down after some time. At this point, the pluriloculate test is still filled by the symbiont containing protoplasm. The protoplasm with its symbionts emerges from the test by the many openings of the canal system which connects the test lumen with the ambient medium. The coloured protoplasm is flowing in criss-cross streams on the empty calcareous test. Eventually, the colourless, spherical daughter cells differentiate from the protoplasm after it has come to rest. They are embedded in symbiont-containing residual protoplasm. On the surface of the daughter cells, dark pigmented caps are formed, the Anlagen of the second chambers. They contain the majority of the maternal symbionts taken over from the residual protoplasm. After a resting period, the residual protoplasm forms a system of streaming filaments which carries the juveniles off in all directions. The empty test stays behind. Here, the multiple fission of a megalospheric heterostagina on the side of the test facing the substratum. The emerged protoplasm mixes by lively streaming and then divides into the spherical daughter cells. Embedded in symbiont-bearing residual protoplasm, they cover most of the test surface. The rapidly formed two chamber stages can be easily recognised by their symbiont-filled second chamber. During a 12-hour resting period, the juveniles stay under the mother test. The onset of movement initiates their transport off the test. The daughter individuals do not possess pseudopodia in this developmental stage. They are carried off by the maternal protoplasm. At a greater distance from the parent test, daughter cells will grow up and finally repeat the process of multiple fission. <laughs>